couldn't use it if I wanted to. You traverse deeper and deeper within the steady decline of this tunnel. The willed focus of Beauregard does not leave it weaving oddly. It is a direct channel. Lightless as it may be. And you continue down. 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 Until deep within these twitching corridors, under the streets of Cognosa, it begins to widen into walls that are showing semblances of city once more. Bits of stone, sections of wall, cracked brick. Occasionally an eye opens and watches you as you pass before vanishing into the space. You've occasionally seen bits of bone or teeth. Now these become horns and fang-like protrusions, like tusks in places. It seems like the deeper you go, the harder it is keeping together the idea of what it's supposed to be. And some of the shapes begin to just become wild and weird, more so than the rest of the city, I guess you'd say. Passing beyond this kind of nightmare patchwork of architectural memory, odd angles begin to twist as it grows taller. And then eventually you see a light. Continuing on the lake, it's brighter and brighter, this pulsing red light. The tunnel begins to give way into a massive chamber, an aorta-like chamber, the center of the city. There are bits of rock and faintly emerging tower structures sections of building, but nonsensical in placement, like a, like an offhand sketch of something you saw once that is completely wrong, but just enough to recognize what it was supposed to be. In the middle of it, you see this column, and within this column is this, for lack of a better term, a bulbous collection of massive, faintly glowing, pulsating orbs, all mashed like a nest. Nine of them? Looks to be about nine, probably, if you could see it from all sides. And how tall is the tower? the ceiling, it's about 80 feet. The thing is like all filling the... The the column, well, you see the, the, the central section where these are fixed is kind of towards the base, and the part that's tethered to the top are like stretched tendon, and things that are essentially connecting it to the center and giving it more firm power at its base. Any sign of the Nonagon? That's, yeah. Make a perception check. Aortic valve. The central, central nervous system. 19. 19. You glance around. <laughs> and you see no sign of the Nonagon. What you do see is different fluctuating points of red light kind of heading down these tendrils to the center, and these orbs begin to alight as they do. Quick to gather that these are likely the various Somnavum returning to greet whoever has stepped into the central chamber. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A voice immediately 
fills your minds. Basey and commanding. We are the Somnarvum. We are consciousness evolved through high emergence. We thank you for coming. We welcome our children who see with our eyes. You walk the path of the Nanagon, and though through you will become one, you will not grant your every desire. We will teach you how to manifest them. What is it, I think, that you all want? Dreams are the mind testing its limits, reaching out and expanding the will. Consciousness is boundless with awakened will. The soul is consciousness. The soul should not be bound to a short-lived vessel and collected high treacherous idols as a trophy. Dreams are the mind's discovering potential. And together, we, the Somnavum, have become dream. Every mind, every soul, deserves to know this joy this endless understanding of purpose and meaning. We are a proto-realm, a new plane of existence about to be born. The next step in the evolution of life and the enduring spirit. You are not content with your home here. We are just the spark. It would be meaningless to hoard our understanding. It is the right of every living being to know our joy. It is their inevitable reward for the trials and toil of running the divine maze under the alien minds of false gods. They deserve to be with us and we will not deny everyone her destiny. Who are we speaking to now? Us. All of us. We are the Somnavum Omega. So you all get along now? No response. Aren't you missing one? Yes. Our 
harbinger, the Nanagon. We sense your connection. Would you bring him to us? He is beyond our sight. This ninth is your foothold to other shores. For now. And he's hiding from you? You see some of the color and light in some of these mass orbs. This conjunction of entities kind of shifts colors slightly, like a moment of confusion and turmoil visible on the surface. Strange. Yes. I wonder what his motive must be. He is with us. We felt him arrive. Nine of us await the Nonagon. The nine of us await the Nonagon? Math doesn't seem to add up. Maybe he's the tenth. He's the tenth. We just have it. Yeah. When the Nonagon rejoins you, will you all go somewhere together? Or are you content here? He is to bring the key and open the door. And if he does not? The colors are royal and flash. Then we will find another way. Then you don't know where he is. If you did, you could point us toward him, and we could find him for you. In a brief moment, you feel this storm of energy reach out. Each of you that has an eye you feel a part of your body begin to grow cold where that eye is, as if something is peering through and searching you. And then it withdraws. Yes. You have sought him as well. Find him. All that you've ever dreamed will be yours. We will do this for you. We will bring the Nonagon to his close. Just be careful because he was talking about ultimate power and I don't know, maybe he's hiding because he wants more than what you offered. There's a pause. Echoing from elsewhere in the chamber, Well, I'm glad you came. <laughs> the invitation was there. And you've all proven exactly as useful as I hoped. The colors shift, and you see the central column begins to warp slightly. And on the opposite side of where you're standing, near one of the other aortic tunnels that ventures past there. You see Lucy standing next to an empty sack 
and a cluster of nine or ten glowing into a charges. <gasps> all pulled into one pulsing pile. I needed them distracted. Keep their eyes off me for a bit. Oh no. So I thank you for that. The Somnavan voice begins to echo through all of your minds <laughs> like a storm of lightning. Stop him. Stop, stop, stop him. Stop. And Lucine goes, Enough of that! You all know very well what this is. And I'm glad we've all synchronized our schedules through all this chaos. It's perfect. These people, the city, tragic in its fall, yes, but glorious in its discoveries. There's something else it studied, prepared enough to harness their terrible fate. And in doing so, and he snaps his fingers, and you watch as the flesh around him forms a chair behind him. A throne, if you will. And he leans into it. They were born greater than they could have ever anticipated. Isn't that right? Power of a thousand minds, dreams, imaginations, and wills made one. Founded in the ether of manifestation. A miracle unstoppable. Yet, rudderless, fractured, wild, jealous, Impotent. The colors flicker intensely, and you can see elements of psychic energy trying to begin to spark out of the center column upward, but it's also holding back. You recognize the stalemate between the two sides. I once saw them as gods. <laughs> Being so far beyond my ability to understand, and they chose me to be their herald. But when I died, when I scattered, and they put me back together, I was given a view behind the curtain. And I saw the fallacy I had given everything for. Genius souls, now mewling toddlers bickering over the power of creation. <sighs> Someone needed to be the parent. When children have been acting out, well, making a mess of their potential, for this long, even, a responsible caretaker must show discipline, enact punishment, and take the reins with force. So, I invite you to stay for the show, but I think you'd prefer to run. And he leans back and puts his hand on the devices as they begin to blink faster and faster. Uh, we gotta go. go. How far away is he? Yeah. Uh, he's about 120, 130 feet from you on the other side of this chamber. Wait. I'm gonna... How many feet? 120. I'm going to say ahead. run, and I'm going to cast Earthquake right under him. Cast Earthquake right under him? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to cast Intellect Fortress on myself and start running. Okay. So Jester and Vet start running back through the tunnel you guys came from. I'm going to haul ass. I'm gonna, there's nothing I can I'm do. I'm going to run that way and say, okay. everyone with me, and I'm also I'm going to cast, fuck it, um, I'm casting, um, where did it go? Why won't you, hold on, I'm just doing that thing where it, uh, anti -ma uh, anti magic field. Okay. You all begin to run. <laughs> Everyone else following suit? Yeah. Yep. Running back to the tunnel where you came from. Bloop, bloop. The ground <laughs> beginning to crack, the elements that are stone and the parts that are flesh begin to shake and roil. You watch as the tethers above that attach to this central part, the aether crux itself, begin to <laughs> ping, like cables being snapped. Parts are beginning to fall 
elements of the ceiling begin to crash down like it's trying to physically attack with the full flesh of Cognosa itself upon Lucian, who begins laughing and laughing. Just... <laughs> As you all run, and run, and run. <laughs> a series of flashes behind you. And you feel, especially you who's connected to this city, you feel the flex, and the scream, and the tensing of the entirety of Cognosa at once as its nerve center, the Somnovum that brought it together, are bombarded. And as you all fall to the ground, breathing deeply in the ensuing silence, it's just quiet, no laughter. No sound. Just the eight of you. That's where in tonight's episode. Fuck. <sighs> what does what that mean? What is How does he? Mean? We are so fucked. What? Well, we don't know. If there were, yeah, if there were nine entities controlling a living city, and now there's only one. one. Maybe. I don't know. Or at least there's going to be a fight about it. I missed the first 45 seconds of what you were saying because I was just trying to figure out what we could do to get to him, and there was nothing. There's nothing. Wait, so we don't have Unless a ninth name or Nonagon I the 10th? It matters anymore. It doesn't matter. No, it matters. Apparently, Nonagon is the harbinger, so we are missing a name. <sighs> okay. I think. Lucian is the harbinger. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't saying anything yeah. because I'm currently immune to psychic damage and I was so tempted to fly straight at him, but I'm not immune to things collapsing on me. No. Oh, so I was sorry. just like, I, uh, uh Yeah. Uh, Same. I yeah, thought the earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about putting Same with oh, that sorry. huge anti-magic field. Whatever, you do what you got to do. It's all good. I thought about putting Arcane Gate right behind him and just pushing all of the Intuit charges. Yeah. And I wanted to. Getting 500 feet away, but that would, I wouldn't make it there in time. And, and if he said it all, toast. all our friends are in range. Totally. It doesn't matter yeah. that I'm immune. Yeah. All of you would yeah. die. I've got a, I've got a 10 foot barrier right now where very little, except for it went off, things. so yeah, we're good. The, yeah, all the charges went off. I mean, my first thought but was maybe <laughs> wish that for a while. all the Intuit charges were rubber ducks or something. I don't know, but I didn't. It got real bad, and then it got good. better, and now I can't tell if it's worse or not. I thought for a moment there we were going to be fighting Lucian and nine Ent yeah. entities yeah. Yeah, 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 in yeah. like a lair action situation, and now I don't know where we are. Nine entities that don't like no, each other, no, no. and now we just have one that really likes themselves. And has everything we're standing on is trying to attack us. And I can't, I can't shake the fact that we're eight and Lucian makes nine. <laughs> this whole game is so this ridiculous. This whole fucking campaign. Mm -hmm. so patterns, fractals, ridiculous. fractals, patterns, patterns, fractals. <laughs> mm -hmm. nine. Well, we're gonna go ahead and Fuck. pick this up here next time. Thank you all so much for joining us. <laughs> no! Ah! no! No! No, you can't do this! What does it mean? We love you very much. No, we gotta keep playing! We gotta keep playing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is it Thursday yet? No! Good night. <laughs>